What? Whoa. Hello. Hello. Stay. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Come on. I can see. Okay, what up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new, 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 brand new. Brand new, brand new, brand new, brand new, brand new, brand new. Welcome back to a brand new video here on the JG's Lewis Demonetization Squad channel. Thumbs up for the Demonetization Squad. Make sure you guys are giving this video a like to combat the Demonetization Squad on YouTube. We're fighting the power. We ain't quitting. It's been two days. Where's the videos? We're back, baby. I've been busy. School's going. Interns going. Stuff's a flowing. I really appreciate the fam. You guys have really been supporting, man. The One Tac Tactical Outfitters, the company I'm interning for. A huge giveaway. All the details are on my Instagram to that giveaway. Let's get into the video. Navy pilots. What do I think of them? So I was a squadron member. The best job in the Navy. The best side of the Navy. The brown shoes. A lot of people are jealous of the aviation community. Because it's a little separate from big Navy. We kind of have laxer... Laxer, laxer rules, not a strict military bearing depending on the base, especially for my command. Especially because I was a helicopter squadron. So I can't talk that much about F-18 pilots, I am going to talk about a little, but mostly this is for helicopter pilots. So being an aviation mechanic and being a plane captain and a landing signalman enlisted, I had a lot of duties. I knew the aircraft front and back. I knew the MH-60 Romeo's anti-submarine helicopter, helicopter maritime strike 77. I knew our platform like the back of my freaking hand. I was a collateral duty inspector. So technically I could have probably got the bird up in the air, but there's no way we're landing that. We are not landing that, ma. We're going down. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? What's the procedure? Stay but I had a very close relationships with the pilots because on the beach and on deployment I'm the one signing off that the aircraft is spot free and secure I'm doing all the daily inspections the turnaround inspections. I'm checking for foreign object damage I'm talking to the pilots with hand signals. I'm standing in front of the aircraft all the time Getting permission across the rotor arc starting up the engine starting up the rotor head disengaging the rotor head So you guys can understand I had a lot to do with the pilots. So F-18 pilots, what I do know is they have a big bag of pee. Every time they would get off of their flight, they would fly their sortie, their mission on the carrier, they'd all walk with their bag of pee and throw it in this trash can behind the island near the big aircraft crane. So I'm sorry, whoever had to throw, <laughs> whoever had to throw away that big trash can full of pilot pee. I'm guessing maybe that was the AMEs because uh, the AMEs, also we call them the seat sniffers. AMEs are only on fixed wing because they deal with a lot of the ejection seat equipment. Um, I believe they deal with the locks, like the uh, liquid oxygen. AMEs, sorry guys, or probably the PRs. So now helicopter pilots. There's, prob there's a couple different types of pilots. So one of them, the first type I really like, they're super chill. They're usually O2s and O3s, Lieutenant JGs and Lieutenants. Um, a lot of the LTs would be really, really, you know, like, what's up, brother? What's up, man? Like, um, you didn't really have to say, sir. They didn't really expect you to salute them. Like, they would want to hang out with you in port. Um, I had a lot of fun with some of the O2 and O3s in Dubai in a lot of these different ports. Also, they just made you feel really comfortable. They made you feel like, you know, they weren't better than you. Like you both were, like we were both on the same level. Although, you know, they're flying the aircraft, they're freaking pilots, they're badass. But that's one type of pilot, uh, really super chill. Um, there is an LT that I was really good friends with. Now this next type of pilot, we had one in our squadron. He was an 04, he was a lieutenant commander. You did not want to cross this guy. You did not want to do something wrong in front of this guy. He would call you out, he would chew you out, he expected perfection. He was a perfectionist, dude. This guy was insane. He was trying to be, he was trying to make 05, he was trying to make 06, this dude was trying to be an admiral. He was not buddy-buddy with anybody. 
When you saw this guy walk in, when you saw this officer walking out to pre-flight the aircraft and to get in the bird, dude, everything was freaking sharp as can be. No messing around with this pilot. Now, the female pilots, these were the saving grace on a very, very long deployment. Because not only were they female pilots and a majority, like, Dude, they're freaking badass, dude. Now, the female pilots, they would wear flight suits. Everyone's wearing flight suits, but certain female pilots, when they would get in and out of, <laughs> when they would hot seat, it's called a hot seat, when you get in and out of the aircraft, when the rotor blades are still spinning, you would do a hot refuel. We'd refuel the aircraft while the rotor blades are spinning still. Pilots would get in and out, swap seats. The female, you know, pilot would have to climb in and out and when the pilots climb in and out, you'd have to avoid the cyclic stick. You have the cyclic, you got the collective, the stick in the middle. The certain way this one female pilot would get in and out of the bird, oh my God, it was, dude, it made your freaking week. It, you, that was able to get you on a 50 day stretch. You know, when you're out of seat for 50, 60 days straight, so now what about like Tom Cruise? Is that stuff real? You know, is there like a Tom Cruise type pilot? You know, yes. We had our skipper, he was an 05. He was about to make 06. <coughs> oh my gosh. Dude, allergies from the freaking chlorine. Oh, man. Our skipper was an 05, about to be 06. We called him, his call sign was Hollywood. You know, all pilots are smart, right? Um, you have to be smart to be a pilot. This dude was the best skipper, the most motivational speaker I've ever seen. He was the best leader. He was the best freaking pilot. He was freaking beautiful. This dude used to be a model. He used to be a freaking model. And, he, and now he's a freaking pilot. He's a commanding officer. He was our skipper. He was just, Dude, you would not think a person like that can exist. He existed. Mr. Scott, who is this other woman, Ryan, who you refer to here as just as hot as Jan, but in a different way? Not a woman, just a cool, great-looking best friend. Aren't we trying to determine whether Michael and Jan were engaged in a romantic affair? Not Michael and this Ryan person. <laughs> I believe now he's about to be the commanding officer of the brand new aircraft carrier. He's next in line to be the CEO of the brand new um, Ford class carrier. Hey fam, thank you so much guys for all the support on the channel. I'm trying to do as many videos as I can. It's very demotivating, you know, with what YouTube's doing. I know I've been talking about it a lot. I'm just letting you know how I feel. It's very demotivating because I put in, this has been like my baby. You know, this YouTube channel, I've grown it the past year and a half, two years from like 3,000 subscribers to now over 54,000. Just since I started college, you know, all this has happened. And luckily I haven't put all my eggs in this YouTube basket. This has been more of just like a part-time gig for me while I've been in university. So I'm gonna be focusing a lot on my internship. You guys are gonna be hearing a lot about one tac Tactical Outfitters. Like I said, check out my Instagram for the giveaway. I'm gonna be doing videos on their YouTube channel as well. I'm trying to you know, help grow their social and also I'm gonna be doing some cool stuff with them. They're down in Houston with some NFL guys, with some big government officials helping out with the you know stuff that happened over there in Texas. So they're doing some really good work. I'm proud to be a part of that team. Mrs. Suits is right here. All right, see you guys. See you guys, thank you so much, man, for all the support.